Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking about chronic illness and there's a reason for it because today is a hoodie and sweatshirt kind of day. It's also a fuzzy sock kind of day and I'm, I'm dealing with extreme amounts of chronic pain. So I'm going to share with you what it feels like to be in a full on flare up. Okay, so with fibromyalgia and chronic illness and autoimmune diseases, you can have a range of like, oh, like 60 or more symptoms in a day. And when I first started um, keeping track of my symptoms, I journaled them. And these, these are things that I personally experience on a daily basis. So today, what am I, I dealing with? Well, I had extreme sleep disturbance last night, so I wasn't able to sleep or stay asleep, okay? Um, I've got uh, numb and tingling limbs. Everything in my body is either numb or, or the nerves are going like this. And if you touch me, it shoots pain like I'm being, like I'm being tased by a taser, okay? Um, depression is just something that's common. With people with chronic pain, I am on an antidepressant for my chronic illness. And, uh, you know, when I get in, in, in things like this, where I get in moments like this where everything hurts, um, I really, I really just, I want to be left alone. And uh, today's one of those days, okay? Um, another thing that happens is you get extreme swelling on your body okay um, I get extreme swelling in my ankles and in my feet and some days my hands turn into literal sausages in my joints um, today I have a tension headache um, it hasn't turned into a migraine yet I don't know if it will I'm hoping that it won't okay um, I'm extremely stiff today and I've already done yoga um, to try and loosen things up, but I got dizzy while I was doing yoga, and I was sitting down, and I was so lightheaded sitting down doing breathing exercises that it made it impossible to do, okay? Um, as you guys can clearly see, the bruises are kind of going away, but, um, I bruise really easily. If Ellie jumps up on me, and my, uh, I'm not re ready for it, um, I'll bruise. In fact, I've got bruises all over my hands from just her little paws. I have paw print bruises, you guys. I love my dog, but her love language is to jump up and give you kisses. And there are days where I'm just like, you cannot touch me today. And I know she doesn't understand, but it, it makes me sad that I have to push her away. Okay, but that's something you have to deal with. You have to push. You have to push people physically away because it hurts so bad that you're like, please don't touch me, okay? Um, another, another fun thing of being chronically ill and having fibromyalgia is you get intolerant to bright lights. Uh, you, can, you can suffer from vertigo. Um, you can get pain that feels like sciatica, but it's not sciatica. Uh, you have muscle weakness and you can do weight bearing exercises and you still wouldn't be able to lift your five pound weight because everything hurts. You can get ringing in the ears. You can sometimes lose your hearing for no reason whatsoever. All of a sudden it's like you get this ringing in your ears and then you feel like, uh, I can't hear anything. Um, you can lose, you can lose your vision for periods of time. That has happened to me too. Um. I have lost weight, as you guys can see through the the lights. Night. The lifespan of my videos, you can tell I'm having a day. I I'm not. I'm not articulating myself well enough. Okay. Um. I don't drink alcohol very often, if at all, because I'm extremely intolerant to it, and it can it can uh, extend a fibromyalgia flare. Okay, um, I do have 
a carbohydrate intolerance. So I am intolerant to gluten and carbs. Um, I used to be a diabetic before I had my gastric surgery in 2020. I was a type 2 diabetic. Now, because I got the weight loss off, I am now hypoglycemic. And I have, um, because of the uh, carbohydrate, carb, carbohydrate intolerance, um, if I eat something with gluten, I become irritable bowel or Crohn's-like symptoms. So it's like, I, I, you, know, you have to be cautious of everything you do. I can't function with extremes. And living in Washington, you know, the temperature stays about the same. It, it will usually sway from the 40s to the 70s, and I can handle that. But when we go from having 50-degree weather to 90-degree weather, um, it really, really makes it hard, okay? So I'm very sensitive to temperature extremes. Um, now, here's another thing that I'm going to share that not a lot of people with fibromyalgia or chronic illness talk about, okay? And, and that thing is pelvic pain, okay? Now, for women, the pelvic pain also extends to the vaginal entrance, okay? So sex becomes extremely painful because your muscles and the nerve endings in those muscles stay really tight. Um, I believe they talk about it just a little bit in uh, Sex in the City where Charlotte gets vulvodynia, where her vagina is depressed. Um, it's very painful. It's a lot like that, but it comes and it goes. It's not consistent. It depends on what you're flaring in that particular day. Um, the other thing that you can deal with is uh, plantar's fasciitis or plantar's arch. Um, and the muscle spasms and the twitching and all of that. So it, it can get extremely painful. And it's also extremely difficult when you, when you don't want to be dealt with. Okay, you just want to cuddle up in a blanket and, and zone out from the world because everything hurts and you just want to shut everything off. And I'm so grateful for that man right there because he is extremely patient with me on days like this. Um, I married a saint, you guys. So, uh, it's, it's, it's depressing and it's really, really hard. Um, it's really, really hard to live this spoony life. And so, um, a lot of people have asked, well, what does spoony mean? Spoony means that you have a chronic illness. And you have to reserve. You have to reserve things for when you actually need them. You know, you don't have an unlimited amount of spoons, so you have a dedicated coffee stirring spoon. You have a dedicated cereal bowl spoon, and you have a dedicated soup spoon. But you don't have an un, an unlimited number of spoons. And the other thing with people with chronic illness, and we don't talk about this a lot because people don't want to shed light on this. Um, the other thing we do not talk about when we are chronically ill is how we are really good at faking being well. We are extremely good at faking feeling well, okay? Um, we're good actors and actresses, okay? We just are. We can, we can put a smile on our face and it can use up every ounce of energy in our quiver. We can use up er every arrow in our quiver to get through whatever we've got to get through that day. Um, but just like yesterday, yesterday I did a seven hour shift. I walked uh, about 27,000 steps while I was at the airport yesterday and I hurt the minute I got in the car, when David came and picked me up from work, my feet immediately started cramping up and tensing up and locking up. And they were painful to keep my shoes on, so I took my shoes off in the car. And then he grabbed me some tacos, and I came home and I ate my tacos, and then I went to bed. 
But because I had done so much during that shift, my body immediately started to react by giving me irritable bowel, gassy symptoms, full-on body cramps while I was sleeping. Um, I don't know if I snored last night or not, but I woke up this morning and my ears were ringing and I couldn't hear very well. Um, it just sucks, okay? So I'm... I'm going to start shedding light on this issue through my channel because I know a lot of my viewers also deal with the same chronic illness that I deal with. So I'm going to start sharing about being a spoonie because you guys have seen me when I've had good days and bad days. So today is a hoodie and a fuzzy sock kind of day and this is the only content I'm making today because I don't have the energy for anything else. But um. I want to shed light on this subject as well. So, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I'm probably not going to do a lot of Papa content this week because, frankly, I'm sick of it. <laughs> so, I'm going to talk about other subjects on my channel and shed light on things that I feel are important. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys being here. Have a great rest of your day. All right. I'll talk to you on the next one.